Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United Direction. I'm Tim Russell, your host, and today we'll talk about two of the games that are upcoming this week for Manchester United. First game is going to be FK Partizan in the Europa League tomorrow, and on Friday, on Sunday, we have the mighty Brighton coming to Old Trafford. So we have two home games. So, FK Partizan in the Europa League. We already won them, we beat them 1-0 away. If United win tomorrow, United will automatically consolidate the, the position and winning that group, all things being equal. So, Ole Gunnar has a decision to make. Does he play a full-strength team on Wednesday, on Thursday, or a weakened team on, thir- on Thursday, and a solid team on Sunday against the mighty Brighton? Brighton. But... This is what we are, and this is where we are today. Due to the, the, the thinness of the squad, there's not even a lot to even rotate with. You see what I mean? There's not a lot to even rotate with or even play around with because we don't even have a big squad. And that would be down to Ole since he said he's responsible for there was money to buy players, we didn't buy, he didn't find the right players. So it's his responsibility to fix this crap. Because currently, we are just a mid-table team in the Premier League. After a a catastrophic, astronomically, shambolic, diabolical display and defeat by the mighty Bournemouth on on Saturday, where are we now? We are now in the 10th position in the Premier League table, which is like a mid-table team. So we are underneath Sheffield United, underneath... (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's actually so embarrassing to, to say the least it's, it's so bad that newly promoted teams are above us in the Premier League table unfortunately that is where we are today yes people can say well, the, the, it's just started ok yeah it just started but this is where it just started and this is where it starts so United really need to pull the socks up and get the act together you know the back line, ha- the back line, as much as the back line is tight, but they are making a little bit of errors. I just feel Lindelof and Maguire are not actually working together. They're not complementing each other. I feel Lindelof is being bullied off the ball. Maguire keeps it simple, keeps the ball, passes it out of the uh, the, the, the defense into a st- start an attack, and is able to win the balls in the air. Lindelof can't win the ball in the air. He gets knocked off the ball and causes a few issues. Like against West Ham, against Crystal Palace, against Liverpool. Apart from the goal being disallowed, Mane bullied him off the ball. This is what I'm saying. So Transebi is looking like the new partner for Maguire. If you're watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the logo at the bottom right and don't forget to share our content. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Now, in the midfield, Pereira had a stinker on, on Thursday. Do, do, does he come back into the team? The funny thing is we don't even have options. The options are Matic. Is that bad? Because even in the Alex Ferguson times, the the, 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 uh, the strikers were, were had rotational strikers. You had Teddy and Ole, York and Cole. So you can rotate them all the time. We don't have that luxury because we did not buy. We didn't invest. But we keep saying we had enough. We don't have enough. Especially when you decided to sell what you had and not replace what you were letting go. So that does not make sense. So Ole is really literally in a very tight spot. I believe in giving Ole a full season. So far, he's underperforming. Let's not even go there. So by the end of the year, we'll see if we're able to stagger towards the January transfer window and see where we are by end of December and we'll do a, a whole year um, a summary of where United are currently. But it's just so sad that is where United are today. It, it really is sad that that's where we are. But it, it, it's disappointing. But United really need to put the socks up. So he has a big decision tomorrow. Does he clean out Put a full, a full squad in and get the result and shut that down and know that, all right, we've already put it for the Europa League and f- concentrate on the Carabao Cup and the Premier League or put a weekend team tomorrow and 
face the mighty Brighton on Sunday because it seems every team, especially the lower teams, in fact, these small teams are all mighty teams to United. West Ham, the mighty West Ham, the mighty Newcastle, the mighty Bournemouth, the mighty Crystal Palace, they all have defeated United. The only top team we played, Chelsea, okay, Liverpool, okay, Arsenal, okay. But still, if you look at it from a critical angle, United have failed to deliver in even in those big games, apart from the Chelsea game. But this is where we are. So my prediction against the, the, the partition team tomorrow is United should just wrap it up, win 2-1 or 1-0 as we always do. Then on, on Sunday, a full squad. Knowing United as a mid-table team currently, I don't even know what to say. My head will say one number, my heart. As a United fan, I always want United to win. So I'm going to say three points. But every time I've said that, we've gone to get a draw or lose. Even a home is not even guaranteed anymore. You see what I mean? So you see the problem with a lot of United fans is that we can't even guarantee anything anymore. That is the bloody problem at the current state of things at Old Trafford. <sighs> it is draining. It just drains you physically and mentally that how a team has fallen so far and can't even get the act together. Yes, we're rebuilding, but you want to see some progress in the rebuilding. I can't even see that. See what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. I'm going to give Ole two more transfer windows, a full season, and let's see where we go for that. Is he technically inept for this job? I don't think he's really the right guy, but... He might be the right guy, giving the right funds and him getting the right players. That's my concern. If he can do that, then hey, I want him to work out. I want United to do well. I want United... If, if, if we win, I'm going to ask a, um, a question to the viewers. If United win the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup and finish 10th, would you be happy with that season? Drop your comments, drop your like at the bottom of the, uh, at the, bottom of the video. If United win the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup and probably get to the final of the Europa Cup, and don't do well in the Premier League, would you be happy with that season for United? Drop your comment. I'm Tim Russell. Hopefully, my predictions tomorrow will be Man United 1, Cartizan 0, Catizan 0, and on against Brighton, 1-0 United at home to Brighton on Sunday. From me, it's Tim Russell. Soccer as we like it. We're just covering the two games United have upcoming on Thursday, Europa League for the... Uh, oops. What's this guy driving? God damn it. So stupid. Ugh. Idiot. So you got to see what United are going to do in the Europa League and for the Premier League. They have two home games. Are they going to Are they going to win? Are they going to draw? Are they going to lose? Drop your comments and your predictions at the bottom of the video. I'm Tim Russell, your host. Soccer as you like it, the Man United direction. From me, it's goodbye and good night.